today we have a dessert dish for you today. Today we are making chocolate s'more pie. That's that squirrel that's been kind of hot trying to taunt me when I pull up. Um, but yes, today we are making a s'more chocolate pie today. And it is simple and quick. It just takes a little time. Um, let me show you guys what we have here. Okay, guys, here we have some pie crust, some marshmallows, some salt, some cornstarch, some vanilla, and our milk chocolate chips right here. Now, we also have some um, whipping cream that we're going to use, but I keep that in the refrigerator until um, I'm ready to use it because I got something in the oven, so it's kind of warm in here, and you don't want to leave anything kind of dairy like that just sitting out. So, um, what we are going to do is get started. I'm going to try to keep you guys up on the measurements as much as possible. I always try to do that. Um, but we, we, a little, I'm sorry. Now, you can make your graham cracker crust homemade, of course, with pretty much just a little, some butter and some graham crackers. But we cheated today. They're only 98 cents at uh, Walmart, so why not? So, let's go ahead and get started with the next step. I don't want y'all to think I was tripping. That squirrel, you see him looking at me. I, I don't know what it is with the beef, man. For about a whole two years, me and this squirrel kind of been going a little back and forth. I don't know what it is. I ain't never did nothing to him. But man, y'all, I know y'all seen that. No, y'all seen that. Okay. I'm going to turn this on medium high. Now, we are going to start with our heavy whipping cream, and we are going to do two cups. There we go. Two cups of it. Pretty much what we want to do is get it to where it's starting to boom, and then we are going to put our chocolate in. And when it comes to our chocolate, we are going to be putting in three cups of our chocolate and it's not going to take long at all for it to get up to the bowl long at all okay if y'all hear something above one it's my potatoes over here on the side Okay, now after we put the chocolate in, we are going to put in about one teaspoon of vanilla, about a pinch of some salt, because um, I want you guys to uh, kind of have the measurements, and because I want to make sure it's thick, I'm going to put in about a, about a tablespoon of cornstarch, probably about maybe two. But I'm going to make sure I definitely cook the cornstarch in. You can see, we've already got some bubbles going over here. It ain't going to take long at all. And when we put our chocolate in, we are going to turn it down. We are not going to keep it to where it's, um, it's still going to be on medium high. We're going to definitely turn it down a little bit because we don't want it to burn. We're still going to be cooking a little bit, especially putting cornstarch. We kind of want to cook the cornstarch in instead of just letting it sit in here and mixing it. Okay. It's pretty much almost there. You can really tell when it comes to your edges, when it comes to your whipping cream right here. And then you'll see this little film as you're starting to see on the top. See right here how it's doing that? 
almost looks like cheese. <laughs> okay, so we are going to turn down our milk, our whipping cream, and we are going to go ahead and put our chocolate in. Okay, remember we're putting in three cups. Daddy, will you hear me the other bag? I knew we was going to need another bag. I could feel another one in there at the bottom. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you had you brought a, a broader fee, a broad mm -hmm. over fee. Mm -hmm. Tell you what. Oop. Okay. Hold that for me, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I tell you what, when you got something they want, they show in here then. Okay, I'm going to turn this down too low. Hmm? These extra chips will hold coffee wipers. With your lush. <laughs> A medium low. Okay. I'm going to keep stirring. Okay, so will you hand me the vanilla, please? Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. What if you don't put them chocolate chips down? Give me that salt. Okay, guys. Time for our pinch of salt. This is our bam moment. Bam. Okay. Thanks, sir. Okay. And you can kind of look and tell how it is now. That's why I didn't want to fast forward and stop and keep going. Wanted you guys to see what I was talking about. Um, you can kind of tell how it starts sticking up to see how much cornstarch you're going to really need. Because we are going to put this in our pie crust and let it sit in the refrigerator anywhere between one hour to three hours. If you can do it longer, that's perfect. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put in our cornstarch when you hear me. Uh, yes, sir. And yes, sir. Okay. Whoop. Turn around and we lost them. There we go. Okay. I get my head off my cornstarch. There we go. Okay. Man, did y'all hear what happened with Kobe? My husband said, baby, they got another one. <laughs> I said, what you mean? He said, Kobe gone. Here go my son, which Kobe? <laughs> but yes, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard. Yes, the basketball one. Kobe gone. And I should have put that in a, a little water just a little water to help it uh, so we don't have this problem here but we're going to get it down okay turn my oven off okay 
Okay, and what we are going to keep doing, guys, is keep going until I get all of my cornstarch out of there. And then we are going to put it in our pie crust. Okay, we have our mix here. We have our pie crust, and we are going to go ahead and get them filled up. He is in there laughing his butt off. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, come down, look at him. Okay, as you can see, they got a little jiggle to them. They are pretty much already firm. But we are going to put these in the, in the refrigerator. I'll probably let these actually sit in there for probably about two and a half to three hours. And then we'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you, son. We are about to take them out. We let, and by the way, we let it chill for the whole like three and a half hours. I didn't have time to get my stuff for work together, take a shower, all that good stuff. You come on in here, Daddy. You take a shower. Okay. They are nice and fluffy as hot, so I'll try not to get too close to it. Okay. Yes, guys. I'm going to let this cool for about five minutes. And then we are going to tear into this small pie. I'm so sorry to everybody at work that is on that challenge. Y'all gonna be like, Shay, so wrong. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, y'all. S'mores freaking pie. It smells so far. Y'all, the Hershey chips on there is so good too. Like it's fire, fire for real. But yes, Hershey's, uh, the not the Hershey's, but the s'mores that it tastes like a Hershey's bar in the middle. Y'all gotta get y'all some. 